It is one of the highest ranking elementary schools in all of Rhode Island. And Tiverton superintendent is proposing closing it down to help balance the budget. Let's get over to Erica Ritchie right now, live in studio. This one uh, generated a lot of chatter last night. Yeah, Pat, it's because the proposed solutions directly affect the families and the students in Tiverton. So it's either close down Fort Barton Elementary or eliminate dozens of teachers, specialists, guidance counselors and special educators. It is not my goal to close Fort Barton or any school. We have a problem and I've given the school committee two solutions to that problem. The town school department staring down a nearly $4.8 million budget deficit going into next year, and it's because the pandemic era money that they had has dried up. State aid has been cut and costs are rising to the tune of more than $3.5 million, according to the superintendent's calculations. So he says something has to give and cutting staff or closing Fort Barton Elementary are his solutions. Residents, though, while well, they had their own ideas. We can all be angry and we should be angry that they're even talking about taking things out of our classrooms, closing a school and how that will affect us. But at some point, we're going to need to collectively come together and go, how do we figure this out? We need to make sure that our town council members are appropriating the funds to keep these services available to us. And that video was live, meeting was live streamed last night. That's where that video came from. The superintendent in that meeting says that he's left this open for discussion until a decision has been made. So coming up next half hour, we're going to hear more from him and why closing the school would be his recommendation, even though it's high performing. We'll talk about that when I see you right back here at 630. For now, live in studio, Erica Ritchie, 12 News. New this morning, one of the highest performing elementary schools in Rhode Island could be on the chopping block. So it was the focus of a really long school committee last night in Tiverton. Erica Ritchie live in studio right now. And Erica, this one had a lot of parents in that town talking. As to be expected, Pat, when the two options to close a nearly $4.8 million deficit are either eliminating staff from all schools in Tiverton, or the elementary schools anyway, or closing down one school altogether. So last year, three Tiverton schools were rated as exemplary by U.S. News and World Report including Fort Barton Elementary, which is the school that could close in order to balance the budget. Here's the problem with that budget. Pandemic era funding has dried up. State aid has been cut and the superintendent projects three and a half million dollars in rising expenses. So he says something has to give. When I see that I can have two schools with the reading specialist, the math specialist and the school adjustment counselor and a social worker, I'm thinking, well, we're not going to lose services or we can cut all those services and keep all our schools open. It's not going to be, you know, it's not my choice. I just present the options and my lens, my middle star, is what's best for our students. And I truly believe that the budget needs to be revised before we have conversations about eliminating positions and closing schools. All right, so let's talk about what would happen if Fort Barton were to close. Well, the superintendent says the students would be dispersed between the two remaining elementary schools and the fourth grade would move to the middle school. You can understand why a lot of parents have concerns over that proposal. The conversation will continue, though, at the next school committee meeting that's scheduled for March 26th. Live in studio, Erica Ritchie, 12 News.